Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about Alabama style whiskey. So today we're tasting uh, Clyde Mays Alabama style whiskey. What makes it truly Alabama style is that it has hints of apple in it. So it makes it smoother than most any other American bourbon whiskey you'll taste on the market. Blake and I have actually been drinking it all day as you can see, <laughs> just kind of testing it out. So it's got a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of, it's definitely, the, you, the rye really comes through. Yeah, it's very uh, aromic. Um, it's good. I mean, I, I, I'm a huge fan of it already. So the coolest part about the whiskey is that Clyde May actually never sold an ounce of whiskey in his life. Legally. Yeah, um, he was a very prominent bootlegger in the 40s, in the late 40s. And he was making moonshine out of his home still in his backyard or backfield or whatever. And what he did was he put uh, oven dried apples. So it had this little apple flavor and kind of made it a little smoother and easier to drink. So that's what makes it an Alabama style whiskey. So today we're actually gonna do an Alabama style cocktail with Clyde Mays Alabama style whiskey. So we're gonna do a Alabama mule. So for the Alabama Mule, we're gonna use Clyde Mays Alabama Whiskey, some ginger beer, some aromatic bitters, and some blackberries. So you wanna start by taking two blackberries, muddle them in your cocktail shaker, get them nice and muddled, and then you wanna pour two ounces of Clyde Mays Alabama style whiskey into the shaker. Smells good, dude. You can really smell it, like it really jumps off the yeah, off the glass. It makes you want to drink it. You want to pour this into your cocktail shaker. Pour it down. So you want to give it a good shake. That is delicious already. Then you want to fine strain it over your rocks glass. Then you have blackberry Alabama whiskey. You want to add two dashes of bitters. Probably about four drops in this case, but if you have a dasher, make them that dashes. And then you just want to top it off with uh, ginger beer. Dude, my mouth's watering. <laughs> Garnish with a with a blackberry, like so or just pop it in because it's probably a lot easier. And give it a shot. Ah, oh, it's really good. The bitters really brings out the cinnamon and gives it like an apple cinnamon kind of flavor to it. And then the ginger beer is obviously just kind of you know what, this, extra kick. This is a great summer cocktail as well. It's, it's a great cocktail all season long. Uh, keep, you, keep you refreshed, keep you cool in the summer. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Clyde Mays. We'll uh, have a link to them down below. And be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Gents Lounge. And uh, try this cocktail at home, guys. Enjoy. Cheers.